22 minutes past eight. For many adults, having a brain scan can be an unsettling experience, having to lie perfectly still for an hour or more while images are recorded. It is, of course, no less daunting for young children. They usually have a general anaesthetic when they have the procedure. Now, though, a pilot scheme at University College Hospital in London is helping them to have a scan without being sedated by teaching them about it through play, as breakfast Tim Muffet has been finding out. Life is throwing down many challenges for four-year-old Sazmet. He has a brain tumour and the treatment he requires is gruelling. Two sessions of radiotherapy a day for four weeks, plus MRI scans to assess their effectiveness. As any adult who's undergone an MRI scan in a machine like this will tell you, it's not easy. You have to lie perfectly still for at least 40 minutes, sometimes longer, in what is effectively a metal tube. And for many young children, that is unrealistic. Often, they're given a general anaesthetic. You'd always want to avoid any medicine if you don't need to, so and particularly an anaesthetic. Um, there's a small chance of a side effect, um, a very small chance of a significant side effect. Um, and also, when a child is waking up from an anaesthetic or being put to sleep, it can be quite confusing. So, um, if at all possible, we try and avoid it. You need to be straight like this. Yep. So, doctors hope Sazmit can stay awake during his next scan, thanks to play therapy. This, I go inside. This, move up. Yeah, that's right. This. Through the play, we help them to rehearse what's going to happen so they, there's no surprises going to be involved on the day of the scan. And using language they understand, whether it's using Peppa Pig to have the scan or one of the child's favourite toys or teddies that they can bring in, that helps to demystify the process. But everybody, big kids, little kids and grown-ups, we all have to wear headphones because of the loud noises that the camera makes. Sazmit has already managed to stay awake during sessions of radiotherapy, but they don't last as long as a full MRI scan. What do you have to tell him to do while we're taking pictures? He's straight. And does he move around? No. He has to stay very still, doesn't he? So he's actually able to listen to the noises and sort of play through each step so that he knows what to expect when it's his turn to have a scan. Yes. Time for Sazmit to see the real scanner close up. Is that comfortable? Yes. Now what do we have to put on your ears? This session will help familiarise him before the actual scan in a few weeks' time. I think people underestimate just how effective this can be and I know like my colleagues and me in the past included have thought there's no way that a child this young will be able to tolerate a scan awake. Is it okay in there? Yeah. Good boy. We've been running the pilot here for 10 months now and at least 20 patients have been able to avoid an anaesthetic or sedation directly because of the play specialist input. Young or old, a scan like this is a daunting prospect. But for now, four-year-old Sazmit is taking it all in his stride. All finished! Yay! You want to get a high five? <coughs> oh, you did really well, OK? Tim Muffet, BBC <laughs> News. Oh, I'm very good luck to him as well. It's a yeah, good idea. It's so strange having an MRI scan. All yeah. these weird noises you get. To...